All right, hey, good afternoon, everyone. So I thought I would just take a couple of minutes uh, today to try to make a quick video on kind of some, how much, one, of probably maybe, maybe on your minds, hey, how much does a channel like this make uh, a month right now or a year or whatnot? And also get some real quick lessons learned uh, in my now almost four years of uh, getting after this channel or, you know, trying to improve this channel and make it the best it can be. Uh, what's really, I haven't really spent, uh, you know, this has mostly been a part-time effort. You know, I still have a full-time job, still staying busy during the week, but trying to find some time to do something I enjoy and love and make maybe a couple bucks while doing it. So with that said, I want to start off real quick with some background. So, you know, as you can see, here's the, the channel here, you know, so it, this has uh, been about four years in the works now, coming up on the four-year anniversary here, uh, a little over a week from now. Uh, and you can see in that time, I've got a little over 6 million views now total. I started this channel out really kind of on a whim, you know, really for what was my uh, love for uh, Ace Combat 7, Fleet Destruction in particular. Uh, did a lot, loved that mission. I think I played that mission at least 100 times. Um, and, you know, starting off with Ace Combat 7, but then kind of growing and morphing out to include Ace Com uh, not just uh, Microsoft Flight Sim. So I posted a lot of videos with Microsoft Flight Simulator. Though, although it didn't quite have some of the success I think I had with it as Ace Combat 7. I tried a lot of Ghost Recon, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon, kind of that first-person shooter, which is, by the way, an awesome game. Uh, both, 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 both Ghost Recon and Microsoft Flight Sim are both fantastic uh, to play. But really had, I didn't really actually have the most success, I would say, until I got out to some of the museums and air parks on the East Coast here in the United States or got out of some of the air shows out here and got a chance to see, you know, the... The F-22, F-35, F-16, F-18, you know, things like that. But I tell you what really propelled my channel, and I'll get to some statistics and some numbers here in a second, was really uh, the shorts. And, and I'll talk about that. It's going to be my lessons learned. But if you're not publishing shorts, you're, you're missing out. Uh, shorts is what really uh, propelled the channel. So when you see here how, like, I have got over 6 million views now, you know, uh, I would say... Um, you know, last July, I hit 500 subscribers last July, a little over a year ago. Um, and I'll get to some of the stats here in a second. Uh, but uh, yeah, so in the past year, over 8,500 new subscribers. And that is from shorts. I'd probably say 85% from shorts. And like you can go here. I'll go ahead and go to uh, here. We'll go to some analytics. And you can kind of see here. So I'll pull up the last year. So you can kind of see my numbers here. So you can see in the last, uh, that's 90 days, let's do the last year. Uh, the last year, I've got about 5 million views. Um, and you see some spikes there. Uh, I've got about 20,000 hours of watch time, uh, 8,400 new subscribers. And I've made about 453 bucks. Uh, that's less than a year, I would say. Uh, and it started out slow. So like when I first got monetized, you can see here, I'll go revenue here. You can see like when I first got monetized back last September, it was slow. And I was like, oh, wow, I finally got some money. And it was like, oh, 27 cents. Congratulations. Uh, but it really wasn't until February uh, that I really started to make a little bit more money. That was in February when the shorts got monetized as well, which has been helpful. Uh, but I'll talk about that here uh, a little bit more uh, in a second in terms of what you really can do to succeed with some of that. Just kind of got some implications there. Um, but yeah, so overall, you can kind of see here. So the revenue had a day back in August, made almost 12 bucks, which was pretty cool. So, you know, hey, a little something there. You know, pay for your lunch maybe. Um, and then I spent getting a couple bucks a day. And, you know, some of this depends just on how much time you put into it, you know, or if you go out to an air show or something or film, get some good content up there. Uh, it'll help pay a couple extra bucks that, that weekend or whatever as well. And then so when you look here at subscribers, I've been fairly consistent. You know, you can see new subscribers every day. I've had a couple of them shorts uh, back. I almost wish I had posted more shorts back last year. Uh, you know, I had 225 new subscribers in a day one day. I've got the channel going, see kind of spikes. Uh, lately, it's been fairly consistent, somewhere between 20 and 60 new subscribers a day. And you can see some of the watch time as well, fairly consistent here uh, as well. And then views, uh, and you can see here. And actually, I'll go to like the last uh, seven days. You can kind of see what I'm getting at right now. So this past week made about a little over 10 bucks, and you can see the views here. Uh, sometimes it's directly related to how many shorts I post. So like 
Last week, during the week, I was only posting about, I don't know, three to six shorts a day, maybe a little bit more. This weekend, I had a little more time on my hands. I was posting a few more shorts, trying to get creative at it. Uh, and you can see in the last seven days, or let's look at the last 28 days here. Uh, last month, you can see 85 bucks, 1,200 subscribers, uh, 2,300 hours of watch time, and about 500,000 views. And you can see the number of content, too, that I posted there uh, along, along the way. So I've been fairly happy with that, you know. I never thought I'd honestly get this far even. Uh, it's been a challenge, you know. Um, you know, like I said, the first 500 subscribers were the toughest. You know, I really had to, you know, go out and comment on a lot of folks and get to know some folks online and, and really try to build that network out uh, as much as possible. Uh, really, really, really comment on other subscribers' content. Hey, you know, check out my channel. Blah, blah, blah. But... Um, you know as well but like i said the shorts is what really propelled the channel you know uh as as as, as well i um, mean you can see like uh what works for my channel will probably not be for what works for your channel but like last 28 days you know some of these shorts have been all the most common it's got 12,000 11,000 11,000 11,000 11,000 you know nothing super crazy like i mean there are people on here they get millions of views with these shorts uh, they're probably doing a little bit a lot better financially uh as well Okay, with all that said, I'm going to give you real quick, uh, I'm going to give you uh, some, some lessons. I'm going to give you some lessons learned uh, as well, real quick here, okay? Uh, so first off, kind of, like, kind of like it goes without saying, I think you've already heard me say, I think number one, shorts will grow your channel. So if you're not publishing and posting a bunch of shorts and learning some of the shorts, the hashtags and the tags, you know, YouTube's got to be able to help find your, your niche, you know? Uh, you need to be making sure, you know, uh, you focus on something. Don't stay too broad. I think you'll hear a lot of folks recommend that as well. But again, number one, shorts. You got you got to post them several times a day. For me right now, I think it's because now I'm, I'm monetized. It's pretty easy for me to post a short. Like I can go to any of these longer videos and just make a real quick short of something. You know, get creative with the title. Uh, I found that how you title and the thumbnail are pretty critical uh, for, for everything you do. Um, in terms of how successful you want those videos to ultimately be. I'd say number two is consistency. From what I've seen with the algorithm, and you'll see a lot of folks talk about the algorithm, you know, and try to try to game it and stuff. And they, listen, there's there's some uh, some goodness and smarts there to come out of that. Um, you know, I would say the biggest thing is consistency. It's my lesson there, number two. You need to try to post some shorts every day or, or fairly often as you can. Uh, focus on your audience, you know, because if you're growing your channel, but it's just because like happenstance stuff, then you're not going to ever have the the following, you know, you're never going to have the, you know, the folks coming back to your channel or, or, or that kind, kind of consistency, you know, you want to know that if you're posting a video on the F-22 or whatever from an air show, that it's, that it's, you know, from uh, folks, it's going to go out to all your subscribers and most of them like aviation, you know, or have a general theme on that, you know. Um, and not folks that just happen to like cats or, or whatever it may be, right? So consistency, try to be, yeah, post on. From what I've seen, I've tried recently to improve some of the quality of my content, but it's really honestly been um, a little bit of a, a struggle, uh, improving, uh, cons you know, the con quality of the content. Um, and so I think that, um, you know, um, I've really just shown quantity actually can be uh, really, really uh, critical. You know, uh, getting as much, uh, so getting as much out there can really be helpful. Uh, also, I'm gonna try to work on improving quality more in the future. Uh, but I think in the meantime, when you're, when you're just starting out, you know, try to focus on some quality, but also don't maybe go too crazy on it and just be like, hey, be consistent and get some content out there and focusing on what kind of content and, and trying to focus as much as you can. Okay, number three, like I've already kind of said, and you kind of heard, you know, long videos, they pay the bills. So as if you heard, if I post a short and I get a thousand views from a short, I think it's going to pay me like 10 cents. Not, not going to get rich or wealthy off that, right? Uh, if you post a longer video, then it's probably going to get you, uh, if they get the same thousand views in a long, that's going to get you like about a buck. But I've noticed there's no, that's just like a general estimate. Sometimes it'll be better than that. Sometimes it'll be less, you know? So some things there to think about. So down the road, you know, unless you're like a super short wizard, and you're getting hundreds of thousands of views on your shorts, um, it's going to be really hard to make any 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 money there. Okay. Uh, number four, 
like I've, I've already kind of hinted as well, you know, your first 500 subscribers are your toughest. Uh, that was brutal. It took me like like three years to get to 500 subscribers. And then from there, it just really kind of like today, I get 30 or 40 new subscribers a day, you know. Uh, so I'm on pace. I'll probably hopefully have next year at this time 20, 25,000 subscribers, you know. And you keep you keep kind of kind of building it out, largely in things that I think shorts uh, and just a lot of activity on YouTube today. And then last but not least, I would say now, my last rec recommendation, and I haven't been able to do this very successfully, but I would say getting your content out to forums, Facebook, X, whatever it is, you know, discords is really critical. So folks can kind of tie into your channel um, is, re is really critical. I haven't been able to do that as well as I've liked. But, you know, if you like, if your channel focuses on aviation, getting out to some of those aviation discords or, or whatever it might be can be really, really critical uh, and helpful uh, as well. Okay, so that's just a couple of comments there. Hope you've enjoyed this. As you see, I've had a little bit of success on my channel. Certainly not getting rich off YouTube anytime soon or anything like that, but I've enjoyed it. You know, I love aviation. I love video games. Uh, I love looking at aircraft, things like that. And so that's what I'm going to try to continue to focus on in the future. A couple of air shows this fall here on the East Coast I'm going to make it out to. You know, looking forward to maybe some more fighter action type games as well. Uh, but we, we shall we shall see here as well. But anyway, comment down below if you've had any, what, you know, what your biggest lessons learned all have been so far. And if there's anything you'd like to see this channel on, uh, let me know. If you have any questions from what I've seen, happy to share as well. Anyway, thanks for your time. Hope you enjoy. Remember to like and subscribe out here.